What up, Movie Chant fans? And Movie Chant's back again with another quick review, another Netflix review. I watch Spaceman, starring Adam Sandler, Carey Mulligan, Paul Dano, and a few others. Also, you'll see Kunal Nair. My, my, many people remember him from The Big Bang Theory. I'm glad to say he was doing more work. So I seen Spaceman um, last night, and I'm a, I'm a huge Adam Sandler fan. Uh, I like some of his movies, not a lot of his movies. A lot of his movies has been, you know, like comedy. And I think he did a seven or five. He did a big deal with Netflix to uh, put out some movies and um, series, things like that, in Netflix. And here's another one. But it's not really a uh, comedy. It's kind of a serious movie. So basically, Adam Sandler is a, um astronaut. I think it's for Russia. And basically, he is on a year long journey to figure out this space clouds or this debris coming up in space. So, I'll read a little bit of the synopsis. So, it says Commander Jacob is six months into a commercial mission to investigate the Chopra cloud, a mysterious cloud of dust beyond Jupiter. He struggles with loneliness and misses his wife, Linka, who has stopped talking with him after he left her and their unburned daughter behind to go on the mission. Linka sends him a message telling him that their relationship is over, but uh, C- Commissioner Tuna, uh, Jacob's commander officer, prevents it from reaching him. Days later, still without news from Linka, Jacob finds spider-like creature with telepathic abilities inside a uh, compartment of the ship. So that's one thing that just popped out of nowhere, because, you know, being away from some people for so long... Um, can't change somebody. Humans not really made to be by themselves, really. And him being there for so long, that'd be something. Actually, there was um, he was doing a video um, with his with the class, and kids had some questions. And one kid asked him, "How does it feel to be the loneliest man in the world?" And that was a deep, deep, deep question. He had him sit there and pause. And I like Adam Sandler to be different than a comedian. You can, um, you can. See, he's trying to be serious with his acting, how he emotionally gets, how he is, things like that. Because it's really by it's really just him. It just it's really the main people in his um, movies is sometimes Linka, um, then Anna uh, Sandler Jacob, and maybe a few people there. Then you, you get this mysterious creature, which is not a spoiler. You see that in the trailers, or you see that in the images as well. So you know, at first you're thinking that he might go in crazy, which wouldn't be surprising. Um, basically being alone that long but the show i'm sorry the movie gets more deeper than that where being alone or neglecting somebody else's feelings or really understanding yourself so when you be alone you really have time to think about yourself things that you go through so adam sandler you know jacob meets this spider like creature don't know where he come from this creature has no name but it takes interest in him because he can uh, read his thoughts telepathically so you can see so he, he he sees a lot of jacob's um, issues that he had in his past, things he had between him, and his um, wife, things that happened to his dad and father, and things like that. And I think you know this movie is really, it's not you know it's not funny, it's not one of his com- uh, comedian movies, but it's really a movie to try to understand yourself. Um, who am I in this this small world? Um, how much are we sacrificing ourselves for what we're doing, or what are we trying to run away from? What are we trying to think about? What are we trying to express? And, that, and, and it shows that in this movie, because I had to take time before I can do this review right after right after watching it, because it just makes you sit back and think, you know, um, would you do something like this? Would you leave your family? But also it shows that he wasn't neglecting her a lot um, in this movie. He will not express himself well enough or he'll give promises and not fulfill them. Um, but she loved him deeply. And that shows that uh, shows as well. Also, curiosity. The show, this movie doesn't tell us what year this is or anything like that. You can guess because uh, you're gonna have communists and then things like that, but still don't know because he's flying from Earth to a uh, cloud past Jupiter. So that's a, he's in a man mission. So that makes you wonder what year is this? What's going on? But I like that. I like movies like that that don't tell us, you know, so much because he doesn't need that because we can just think about it ourselves. That one makes the movie um, even more better. And so basically he kind of starts going crazy a little bit until he meets this spotlight creature. Don't know where it comes from. This creature comes from beyond our galaxy. And he, like I say, he takes interest in Adam Sandler's character, Jacob, just to understand, you know, what he's going through, what it makes him to be out there, what makes him tick, what, things like that. Because Scripture does say that he studied and watched human life for a very long time, but never to be around just one human, and, and especially out in this, that far in, in space. And he 
he gains attachment to the spider Jacob Adam Sandler's character. Of course, he's going to take attachment with him because I mean, there's nobody else out there to talk to to express your feelings or anything like that. I mean, first, you know, first when he meets the thing, he thinks it's crazy. He thought it was contaminated, things like that. But eventually, you know, he gains to talk to him, and the spider actually helps him a little bit in this. Of course, I'm not gonna tell you too much. I know it's spoil, but I mean, I mean, kind of explains itself, especially in the synopsis. Um, you know, you could read a synopsis and read it and understand it, but how is it executed on the screen is differently. And then they didn't execute the screen very well as you think about it. You know, all of us as humans, we don't have a short life to live. And how much are you giving to your family or giving it to your spouse or giving it to your job or anything in your life? And how much how much are you giving? How much are you giving up? And that movie shows us that, you know, and you gain to realize that a lot of things are not worth it. Some things are worth more. You know, some things you can't get back. Some things you can't get back with money or anything like that. And this the movie shows that. Um, the movie, the CGI, you know, it was nice. It's not, I feel like it was nothing spectacular. The spider to me was average looking. And I'm actually going to show, and we see this, we see this everywhere. But I just wanted to show this, let's show the creature. And the creature is, um, as you can see right here, um, oh, see right there. Um, it, 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 it gets, it gets kind of creepy, um, as you look at it. But I think, I think all it was, it was okay. I had to check it out because I like to see more. Of Adam Sandler um, taking things a little bit more serious, more dramatic roles. I like that in him, and I hope he keeps doing that in the future. Because um, I think he was in Punch Drunk Love. I think that was the movie he was in. He was fantastic. Um, he, when he gets serious, he needs to do it. another movie. I think I forgot another movie was he was a gambler. He made bets, and he was in you know he was in trouble. I forget the name of. It. I apologize. If you remember the name of it, leave a comment below. Um, but he would do good in that. I'd like to see more of Adam movies. So Space Man, like I said, it's a good, it's a not a bad movie. It's not fantastic. It's not a movie of the year. Uh, but I think it's a good movie. It's a um, movie that makes you think. Um, it's a movie that when you start watching, you if you want to keep watching because you want to see what happens at the end um, through the space cloud called, um, I call it uh, Chopra, uh, Chopra Cloud. Um, it makes you, makes you wait. So like I said, Adam Sandler did really well in his acting because, you know, it's, you have other people in there, but he's really, you know, only person in, in this movie as you watch it. Um, I enjoyed watching it. You know, at times it got kind of slow, but other than that, this movie's not that long. Um, I think it's an hour and 50 minutes, or hour 40, 45, 45 minutes, hour 50 minutes, something like that, but it's not that long of a movie. Um, it's, and the pacing's okay. The pacing's not bad. You can get through it because um, a lot of things happening um, repetitively, but that's a part of it when he's doing it in the ship because in the ship he has a routine that he keeps doing. And like I said, the movie starts out kind of slow, but it picks up when you see that creature, that's about a creature that comes to him and starts communicating with him and starts talking. And that thing that that think that takes a lot of an actor to pretend something is there and talk to it. Um, because we know we don't see the background, you know, of what he's doing. Because, you know, if you watch behind the scenes, normally it's a green screen, and him talking to a green ball, and that's it. And that's what he has to work with. So that, knowing that, understanding what he has to convey, express himself to something that's not really there. Shows a lot in acting, and I think Anderson did a very good job of that, conveying that, seeing something there, and the way he conveyed it, a lot of people would just jump, be scared, things like that. But the way he did it is differently, and I like that, especially being out there already six months uh, plus out there already. Your action, your reaction could be very differently because you're really going through so much. You're out there, not even ordinary food. You're eating like space food. You're eating certain type of foods out there, and, and your body's different. You're in space. You're floating. It's a whole lot going on. And I think Anton did a very, uh, very well con conveying that, but also give, conveying his loneliness, conveying um, what he's been through, and you know when you have a realization. So basically, like I said, this movie is really about uh, what would you do? You know, how much time you're going to give up in your life to gain to a certain status or gain um, money or things like that? Are you leaving any people behind? Are you leaving somebody behind? Are you, or are you giving enough attention? Things like that. How much are you spreading yourself? Um, to do certain things and I think that's what this movie shows that like I said this movie's not the best at times I mean you would you would want a little bit more you know maybe more from Adam Sandler from other characters but the movie was pretty much close story of the, of the situation what's happening um, I like that you know it really makes you think so like I said this is a pretty good movie that makes you want to think makes you want to understand um, and it took it in a different way and I like the way he did that, especially being in space. Doing a space movie is not easy. And I think they did, did very well. Him being in Russia or a cosmetod, things like that, that kind of threw me a little bit. Um, 
for Adam Sandler, um, I, like, I don't know why we went there, maybe. I don't know what, what was the emphasis of trying to do with that and communist and all that. That's only a little dip here and there, so it don't give you too much, which it could have sometimes, because I feel like sometimes it was not enough to gain understanding because certain things about his past, they bring it up, but it's not, it not enough. It was very vague, um, maybe just enough you can understand it, but I feel like they didn't give enough to get it a little bit to not have it to be overloaded with it in the movie. I feel like they could have gave a little bit more um, with that. But other than that, I think Anthony did, did a good job and hope to see more movies out of that. So this movie's not that long. It's okay. It makes me want you to think. I was, I was thinking maybe looking looking for a little bit more from the movie. But I think it's a good movie just to pop it on on Netflix. You're home one day and you just want to see, hey, Adam Sandler, he's doing something that's not comedy or not fart jokes or anything like that, that he's makes you makes you want to think. You should pop it in and should watch that. You know, that's the whole point. But if you've seen Spaceman, leave a comment below. Uh, make sure you share and like and see what you think. Did, it, did the movie make you think? Did the movie make you look at yourself and see what you're doing in life? If you're spreading yourself thin or not? Think, um, tell me about it. Comment below. Until then, peace. Oh, and I seen Dune. That review's coming pretty soon. Check it out, guys. All right, stay tuned. Later.